Good Friday morning, lads. I'm Dee Contreras. And I'm Elsie Connors. Again, this is your KWHS News. College visits continue in March next week with the reps from CSU Pueblo on Tuesday, followed by the folks from Adams State on Wednesday. If you're a senior planning to attend PPCC, mark your calendars for this important April visit. The PPCC reps will be here on April 4th to help complete your admissions application. They will return on April 26th to help you select your classes for the fall semester. Remember to get your hall passes from the Counseling Center to attend these college visits. While you're there, check out other important college-related information, such as scholarships and financial aid deadlines. Attention AP students, today is the deadline to pay for your AP exams. You can pay for those fees in the Counseling Center or in the Business Office. There will be no extension. Attention all students, if you have overdue books, please return them to the library ASAP to avoid additional fees. Seniors, this is a special important for you because you must clear your conditions and fees by April 25th to ensure you receive your diploma in May. Hey seniors, graduation is about 43 days away and the senior class would like to include your photos in the graduation slideshow. Please get them in early to Benny Trahill at this trahillben2 at wsd3.org. Please make sure your photos are school appropriate and only have seniors in them. Remember, last minute submissions may not be included. Students, if you need a place to hang out after school, to get some homework done, use the computer or just unwind, check out the student union in the library every weekday. Afternoon from 2.30 to 4 p.m. You must have a after school sticker to stay and play, but there are inexpensive snacks to make it worth your time. Get this, the madness in March has begun at the library. Come in and fill out a book ballot to be entered into a weekly drawing for prizes. Who doesn't want to win? But you can't win if you don't get yourself into the library, so go check it out. <laughs> hey D, I bet some people are already hungry for lunch. I know I am. Let's check in with Miss Betsy. You got it. Hey Miss Betsy, what's for lunch? Good morning and happy Friday, another week down. Today there's a menu change. Instead of the baked chicken, we're having beef fingers with mashed potatoes and gravy. So come on down and have some lunch. Thanks, have a great day, bye-bye. Thanks, Miss Betsy. Unless you have a Chick-fil-A gift card, you can't get free food from there either. So please pay for your lunch charges or add money to your account. Now here's Danny McDonald with our sports update. It's fri Friday. I'm J.D. McDonald and this is your Gladiator Sports Update. Want to be a warrior? Tonight, Student Senate is holding its Warrior Games at 6 p.m. in Bowers Gym. Students from WHS and Bound for Carson will be competing in fun games like Human Hungry Hippo, Tug of War, and Relay Races. If you're interested in participating, sign-ups are happening in the quad during lunch today or you can see Miss Ship in room 202. Not a player? No problem. We need spectators too. So come cheer on your favorite team and have a good time. This Saturday is the DECA FBLA Hockey Night at the Pepsi Center. The games start at 5 p.m. Ticket prices start at $28. Remember, DECA FBLA earns $5 for every ticket sold. Be sure to go to the website to purchase those tickets. Attention ladies and gentlemen, if you got spirit, WHS Cheer wants to hear it. Cheer tryouts will be held next week, March 14th, 15th, and 16th in the small gym from 6 to 8 p.m. Pick up an application in the main office. It's that time of year again. Dodgeball teams are now forming for the tournaments to be held the week of April 3rd. The cost is $5 for a five player team that is $1 per player. If you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. See Miss Ship in room 202 to sign up. Heading into next month a little early, glad. The Cops vs. Kids charity basketball game is scheduled for April 14th. The games will start at 5.30 in Bowers Gym when the 8th graders take on their teachers. At 7 p.m., a high school team of WHS and Meso students take on the Cops. This is a charity event and entry tickets are $2. But wait, there's more. Each ticket gets a raffle ticket for prizes. If you want more raffle tickets, those will be available for two for each, or 15 for 20. See Deputy Stevens for additional information. Finally, Glad's spring sports have started. The Whitefield baseball team played its home opener yesterday against the Falcon Falcons. Although our boys look good in their 
custom jerseys, their bats were a little cold against the Falcons. The ladies soccer team is on the road tonight against Sand Crete at 6 p.m. We have word that it may go down as a win for the ladies. So go out and support the ladies. Our track team is heading to Pikes Peak invite tomorrow for the first meet of the season at Gary Berry Stadium. The weather will be great to check out some of the fastest runners on campus. And planning ahead, our varsity ladies tennis team takes the court on Tuesday, March 14th against Fountain for Carson on the road at 345. Good luck to all our teams this week. We'll have the scores for you as soon as we get them. That is all I have for you today. Have a good weekend, Glads. I'm Jaden McDonald. Back to you, D and Elsie. Thanks, Jaden. Potential students interested in attending the African American Youth Leadership Conference. The conference is tomorrow at Colorado College from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. See Mr. Hall in the Counseling Center for more information. Juniors and seniors, the prom is only a month away, so start planning your prom experience, getting your outside guest pass from the main office. Guest passes are due back April 14th to ensure your day can accompany you to the biggest dance of the year. The prom will be on April 22nd, and we'll have more information when the date is closer. Ladies, if you want to check out the dresses in Becca's closet for prom, you can start making those appointments the week of March 20th. See Ms. Molina in room 111 or Ms. HK in the library to get an early jump on the best free dresses in town. Glad if you're interested in becoming a Link Crew leader, applications are available in room 123, 124, and 201. Finally, Glads, we have some very scary news for you. This weekend is the start of daylight savings time, and that means we have to spring forward and move our clocks ahead by an hour. Be sure to get some rest so you can be prepared for those changes to our circadian rhythm. We really appreciate your attention today. Have a great Friday. I'm Dee Contreras. And I'm Elsa Kunizuka, and this is your KWHS News. Have a great weekend.